What's up? What's up, boxing family? And welcome to another edition of Fantasy About Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section, and I promise to honor your requests. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Please share these videos. Continue to follow the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So the fight that I'll be bringing to you in this video is another great one from Trey Titan. I thank you for your request and for your participation in the channel. The fight that he mentioned to me is between Juan Manuel Marquez and Jesus Chavez. And this is a tremendous fight stylistically. We all know it would have been a war. We all know it, it would have been a back and forth war. Um, I feel that Jesus Chavez was underrated. Um, he wasn't mentioned as much as the other fighters, um, but believe, believe me when I tell you, he was a tough, rough, explosive fighter. Um, his most notable fights were against Floyd, Money Mayweather, Pretty Boy at the time, and um, Eric Morales. Now, he rocked Eric Morales, um, but Eric Morales being Eric Morales, he prevailed. So, but Jesus Chavez was tough. So this is a great stylistic matchup. And of course... Juan Manuel Marquez is the more known of the two, the more notable fighter of the two. But that doesn't matter when you when you get in the ring. Um, Styles makes fights. And so we know that Juan Manuel Marquez, um, one of the greatest counterpunchers in the history of boxing. Uh, fast hands, explosive fighter. Win, lose, or draw gave Manny Pacquiao all that he could handle. Over four fights eventually knocking Pacquiao out in, in the fourth fight with that devastating right hand. And so who, who could forget that? Who could forget that? But Jesus Chavez, uh, he get right up in your face, right up in your space, right up in your grill. Um, had a dangerous overhand right hand, um, the same right hand that he rocked Eric Morales with. Um, Floyd Money Mayweather stopped him, but you know, I think that he gave Floyd Money Mayweather, pretty boy at the time, a, a tremendous fight. And so I, I wish we would have got, gotten to see more of him. But now he may struggle with the hand speed of Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, the counter punching, um, the punches coming from every angle, the uppercut, the hooks, the straight rights. Um, and th th this fight kind of reminds me of Marquez's fight with Michael Katsidis. Um, Michael Katsidis scored a knockdown against Juan Manuel Marquez via left hook. Um, I was surprised that he was able to floor Marquez. Um, but you could get Marquez early on. You have to jump on him early. And um, that was Juan Diaz's, Juan Baby Bull Diaz's strategy, um, especially in the first fight. And he was given Juan Diaz was giving Marquez some trouble. Once Marquez made the adjustments, once he figured his opponents out, once he warmed up, it was downhill from there. A Marquez would become stronger, more aggressive, more confident as his opponents typically faded. And the volume punching, the hand speed and the punches coming from every angle, you could tell that became overwhelming for his opponents. Now, I could see Chavez hurting him early, especially with his overhand right and possibly flooring Marquez. As great as Marquez was, he wasn't a stranger to the canvas. But just as long as you get back up, fight on, handle business. I mean, you can't hold that against a fighter um, for getting knocked down. It's a combat sport and it happens. But then again, once Marquez was hurt, the more you hurt him, the more dangerous he became. Juan Manuel Marquez was the embodiment of a great Mexican warrior. He was coming to fight. He was coming to brawl. He was coming to slug it out. And he was coming to war. And so Chavez's best bet would be to pressure Marquez early. Push him back in the first round. 
get him against the ropes, beat up on him. He doesn't have to land the perfect shots. But at some point, try for the overhand right. Um, that overhand right of Chavez's was devastating. I remember when he landed it against Eric Morales. Eric Morales froze in place. So, um, yeah, speaking of Eric Morales, uh, too bad that Eric Morales and Juan Manuel Marquez never fought. Um, that would have been another one for the history books. I think that both of these fighters were similar in style. Um, I feel that, just my opinion, that Eric Morales was just a little better but um, that that's debatable. So with that being said, I think that this would be very similar to Chavez's fight with Morales. Um, so um, I, I see Chavez hurting Marquez early on in the fight with one of them overhand rights, um, possibly putting him down on the ground. And for the first four rounds, this is going to be one for the history books. Um, you're going to have a lot of back and forth action. Uh, you're going to see Marquez hurt. You're going to see Chavez hurt. So it's going to be very competitive. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we would be on the on the edge of our seats for this fight. And we would wonder what would happen next. But after the fourth round, when Marquez takes over, we would see what would happen next. And I think that from round four until about round seven, maybe. Um, Chavez is going to take a lot of punches and too much accumulation. Jesus Chavez had the heart of a lion, and he would take that punishment and keep pressing forward. But I say around seven of the ref will see enough and will stop the fight in favor of Juan Manuel Marquez. And so my prediction would be Juan Manuel Marquez by stoppage. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next video.